This video was sent over to us by uh, someone in our Discord called Antari. I think I'm saying her name right, Antari. And uh, she brought it to my attention. I watched it and I thought we should do a reaction to it. So essentially, there is a Twitch streamer. I don't know what her name is. Her name is unimportant because you're going to see her in a minute. She's got a mod, right? So in her Discord, she has moderators, right? Me and you are the moderators in the Discord, but she has her own. I guess she's got a bigger community where she can't keep track of everything. One of her moderators has come to her house. Now, because we have our own Discord community that's growing and we have our own YouTube channel, there might come a time where we need mods. I will never, ever, like this video could stay up all my life. I will never treat somebody the way this b treats this guy. And calling her a bitch is being friendly. Mm. She's pretty, like, bottom of the barrel as far as I'm concerned. Um, so I'm going to play this video. It's a little bit sad to watch, but I think it's important that guys watch it because they put pretty girls on a pedestal a lot and let them get away with bullshit like this. And I, I can understand, like, you know, catching feelings for a girl or whatever, but you need to snap out of it at some point. If she's disrespecting you like this, this, this cannot run. This is terrible. And this guy lives in a realm of delusion. So there's two parts of this video, one where he's being humiliated and one where he is justifying the humiliation. So we're going to work through them. I'm going to give my thoughts on this and then we'll go from there. No, oh come fuck. I'm sorry. sorry, one more shot, one more shot. Dang. If you ever want to get drunk really fast, just have to kiss Dilly, you'll be fucked up by the time the night's over. Can't do it. <laughs> Okay. Can you come closer? Okay, this close? Okay. Yes! Okay, okay. Whenever you're ready. Can you pucker up? Pucker up! This is my- I have small lips. <laughs> you just nodded on me! You just nodded on me! This is my alley. You went- <laughs> And those little snots went on my leg. It did? Yes! I'm so sorry. It's okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, come on! Okay, okay. Now, Why are they even doing that in the first place? So she had this thing up on her stream where it's like, if you donate a certain amount to us on stream, we'll kiss on camera. And who is he? Is he just the person who she live streams with? She, he's one of her moderators. So he's flown into her house to do a live stream with her. So oh. imagine we had our Discord and we had one of the guys or girls in there as a moderator. And then we say, hey, come down to the pub, you know, like hang out with us. And we had them on live stream. That's essentially what she's doing. Mm. So she's got this guy, his name's Dilly. The goal was to hit a certain amount of money. And when people have donated a certain amount, she'll kiss him. But I don't know why any guy would agree to this. I don't care how pretty you think this girl is. She's rotten on the inside. For her to put a man on stream and then make her like kissing him warrants her running away like a fucking spider's on her head. Like he's, dis he's so disgusting that he can't fathom. She can't fathom kissing him, even giving him a peck. Without humiliating him for thousands of people to see. I think that's pathetic. Guys, listen, if you are in a Discord, right, and you are the moderator of a, your favorite YouTube or Twitch streamer, just remember they're just human beings like you. They're no more important. Their life is not worth more. Don't let people treat you like yeah. this. This guy has put this girl on a pedestal because of how she looks. But if I'm being 100% honest with you, she's got a lot of makeup on. Since she's going to be a prick, let's just be real about it. She's caked in makeup. We don't actually know what she looks like. He's put all the value on her looks. And so he has allowed her to treat him like this. But her personality is rotten. Why would you even want to kiss somebody like yeah. that? I wouldn't want her anywhere near me. He should have humiliated her on stream. He should have humiliated her. The minute she started doing that, acting like he's a disease, she, he should have like, taken shots just to kiss him, just to peck him. Like he's fucking Miss Trunchbull or something. Well... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, are you okay? I'm good. Okay. Did you Do you not think this is set up? No, it's it's not. It's not. It's not set up. Really? We'll get to it. Because even in a the bit. way he's acting though, he's acting like one of them guys that's really just We'll get to it in a little bit. You're going to see his like someone asked him about this. Um these these clips are pulled from uh Moist Critical's YouTube, he's a very very big YouTuber. Um and he basically, I think he was too nice in his assessment of this. This girl is a, a real piece of work. Why did she have to make the heave sound so loud that the stream could hear it? Do you know how humiliating this? Look at this guy. Yeah, sick. like no matter how much you don't fancy someone, you wouldn't 
vomit or heave or anything just from pecking them on the lips. Yeah, right? like it's 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 that is mad. That's so humiliating. And then on top of that, this guy has cat allergies, right? So he's got he's, he's allergic to cats. She's probably heaving from all the alcohol, by the way. Can I just say? No, she's not. She's he. I watched the live stream. This she's is just being dramatic. Yeah, she's just she's taking the piss out of him, yeah. and this guy's taking it. Yeah, he's got cat allergies, um, and that's why he's sneezing a lot. Oh, okay. She's got a cat in there. Yeah. I'm back, guys. Sorry, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, yeah, Dilly's living the dream. Aren't you so happy to be here? Yeah. <laughs> it's my dream, y'all. Yeah, I've been posting pictures of Dilly every single day on Discord, and this guy cannot hang. <laughs> Dilly's eyes are fucked. <laughs> it's because I have cats and he's allergic, and he has allergy mess. <laughs> Doesn't he look like Gru from <laughs> Just Pickle Me? Sorry, every time I see Dilly, I just start laughing. She's humiliating him. Yeah, she's, yeah. And he's just taking it. It's, it's, it's mean girl behavior. It like doesn't it makes you think that you look cool by dissing these people. Yeah, I, the the donut was like, I'm gonna humiliate this man on stream and then post it. The thing is, is like without people like him, she wouldn't be making the money she makes or be as 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 popular as she is on there. Mm. So it's kind of like you're you're putting down and pushing away the people who essentially are making you who you are. It's just you know the whole Discord moderation thing. I don't. I can I can see a Discord growing to a size where it's it's really hard for us to keep track of what's going on. But this has been a thing that's been going on for a while where people treat their Discord mods like they're trash. I've seen this isn't the first person that's done it. This is just the latest one. And I don't really understand it. I don't think anybody that enters these communities should put any like even we've got our own Discord community. I don't think anybody in there should put us on a pedestal. And I don't talk to anybody in there like they're beneath me. I talk to them like they're my friend. You know, I have chit chat with them. We've been a bit more busy lately, so I've been dipping in and out. But when I've got time, I'll have conversations with them. I talk to them like normal. It's not like pay me attention. As a matter of fact, <laughs> one time I was talking in there, they weren't even paying any attention to me. They were just talking amongst yeah, themselves. Yeah, there's been times I've spoken as well, and then I'm just getting ignored. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll just, I'll just be out. <laughs> yeah, like I, I don't mind. Like, and that's how it is in group chats as well. Sometimes you'll talk. Like yesterday, when uh, Shaq snaked me and left me to die in that asylum on that game, Sabi entered the phone call. I could hear her saying, Michael, I was like, I'm not, I can't hear you right now. I'm talking to Shaq. Yeah, you just pure ignored me. She was, I was shouting at my friend because we were playing a game called Outlast and he could have come back for me. <laughs> we spent one hour getting out of this asylum. One hour, one whole hour. And at, right at the end, this motherfucker shut the door on me and the psychopath stabbed me in the back. And I'm there screaming, Shax, Shax, come back. And he's just running away. I mean, in the footage, it didn't look like he shut the door, I'll be real. What did it look like? You can't even see. It just looks like he just ran. No, what happened was we were all running together. And I was behind Shax. And he pressed square, whatever button is on the keyboard. And the door swung shut in my face. Yeah. And then, and then the, the monster that was chasing us, or the big psychopath, grabbed me. He was I, too slow. No, I, the door no because I was doing... We were, so, we were sawing someone's legs off right as part of the objective. We had to kill someone. And then I was the one in the back room because I was doing something else. And so I was running out lost. Jamie was first. He was doing something else. Out lost. Okay, I'll, I'll knock you ass out. <laughs> <laughs> and he shut the door on me. And I, I screamed. I was like, <coughs> like, Shax is like one of my best friends. I was like, Shax, surely he's not going to leave me. If I die, he's going to die, right? He's going to die with me. I don't expect Jamie to come back. I already know he wasn't going to come back. I didn't even call for him. I was like, Shax, bro, come back. He's like, Mike, I can't. I, can't. I can see you. I was like, bitch, I can see you. Come and heal me. He left me. So then I'm raging. I quit the game. I was like, don't chat to me. They call me now. Sabi's in the call. I'm like, why, yeah. is, why is Sabi in here? I was trying I'm, to say, personally, I wouldn't have that. Michael, personally, I wouldn't. You didn't have to wind me up any more than what I already was. So I said, I'm shouting at Shaq. And I, and I can hear Sabi in the back going, Michael. I'm like, don't talk right now. Michael. I'm not in the mood. I spent one hour trying. Anyway, we're getting sidetracked. Shaq, so I'm going to fucking deal with you later, bro. <laughs> but furthermore, just to add to that, I sent my vouchers in the group chat and I got completely ignored. Not one person acknowledged it. I don't even know what it's what vouchers. My Steam vouchers so that I can buy some games. You got Steam vouchers? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Where'd you get them from? My brother got it for me for my oh, birthday. That's nice. Same. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's really nice. Did you get any games? Well, no, because I currently can't play on my computer. So he's can. trying to figure out a way for me to play um, with my friends. You can play. Uh, it's just certain games that are not compatible. Yeah, but you lot are playing the game that's not compatible. 
Yeah, but if you buy a game, I'll switch. We'll switch over. We'll play with you. So you don't tell me a game that's compatible with Mac, and then I'll buy it because I really want to play. <laughs> Cute couple, but we are not dating. I do not claim this. Yo. Sorry, that's so mean. But I'm don't claim it. So yeah, one hour stream. So every minute counts. I made a donation goal, five hundred dollars. I will kiss Dilly. So we hit it. We hit it. But hopefully. I will be drunk for that. Let's take the first shot of the night, yeah? Is it too early? No. Cheers. I made all the boys go with Dilly to help change his pants. So I think Dilly threw away his chunky throat pants in the trash. Dilly had the same size hands. No, oh my god. god. You have baby hands. No way. Yeah, we have the same size hands. <laughs> that means you're a small dick. What the fuck is wrong with this girl? First of all, if you what look at What the fuck that, are you doing? <laughs> First of all, if you look at the video, you can see his hands are noticeably bigger than hers. And secondly, why would you humiliate him like that? For what purpose? What, what was the point? What was the point in that? This is your Discord moderator and you're talking to him like he's a piece of shit. Damn. Uh, yeah, no, bully, she's, she's a bully behavior. But if he would have turned around and said, ah, small hands, that means you've got small tits. Yeah. Yeah, you would have been all up in arms. And from what I got, I don't know if they're real. They don't look real to me. It, it 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 looks like the uh, top is pushing it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, like like I said, yeah, this girl, I don't care how this comes across, is riding the coattails of how people perceive her online, like physically, right? Your looks are gonna fade, and when they fade, keep up that energy. You're gonna be at home with your wheater bix, your nine cats, your creaky floorboards, and your spider webs, and nobody's gonna be there for you. You will have no Twitch stream, and nobody will be donating <laughs> to you. I guarantee you. Start treating people with some respect. Don't talk to people like they're pieces of shit. It's gonna come back to bite you. I guarantee you. Yeah, but that is the problem. Online, especially platforms like TikTok and stream, stream, Twitch, Twitch, stream, <laughs> streams. What you do on all of them. <laughs> I'm sure there's an app called Stream. Steam. Stream. Stream. There's an app called Stream. Oh, in Turkey. That was uncalled for. <laughs> anyway, on these sorts of apps, it's easy to build some sort of following that makes you feel relevant like you're someone. And these people are feeding off of this. It really just is... It makes them feel so validated and so good. And, and, and it's putting them on this high horse that they think they're the shit mm. bro she'll walk down the street people won't recognize who she is do you yeah. know what i mean and it's like you're you're you you the way you treat people you ain't shit even with our small following here i remember i went to a gaming convention i was with my friends and my friend shanice tapped me on the show she was like michael these people know you and i turned around and they, were, they greeted me, they were like, oh, we watch your show, blah, blah, blah. And I didn't, yeah. know, I didn't know what to say. I was just smiling at them. I was like, thank you. I, they were like talking to me, but I, was, I wasn't embarrassed, but I was a bit just like, oh, you know, like I didn't yeah. think I'd bump into somebody that watches us. But without the people who support you, you wouldn't be like who you are or making the achievements that you are. So without the people who are supporting her, she's not going to be who she thinks she is. You know what I mean? Like, for example, I get it. Celebrities don't really want to stop for pictures it's annoying when you get it all the time some people don't genuinely care but sometimes some celebrities are so disrespectful towards their fans and i think if it wasn't for your fans you wouldn't be as rich as you are you wouldn't have the status that you do you wouldn't have all these perks like there's certain celebrities that i would love to just take their fame away from them for one week and see how they really deep down feel and cope without mm. all of that validation and you know what i mean yeah i think it differs from celebrity to celebrity like <coughs> someone like the rock for example who calls himself the people's champ i expect him to you know sign the t-shirts and take the pictures he's, he's called the people's champ but someone like brock lesnar who has made it very clear that he doesn't like he's not a people person he and he lives out in the middle of the woods around there's a massive gate around this house he doesn't want to talk to people i'm cool with that what i'm not cool with is when you create a parasocial relationship with people and you make them feel like they're, they're in your circle, like they're one of yours, and then you treat them like this. Like I said, we have, we have our own Discord community of the regular people that post in there and even people that message me on Instagram. Now, there's a difference between being bad with messaging and being uh, rude <coughs> when you're talking to people. As the channel grows, more messages come and it's harder to keep track of who's messaging me and where I should be looking. But when I do see the messages, I'm always polite to these people. I'll either like their message or like give them some sort of acknowledgement. 
Or if someone said, even some guy from that watches the channel the other day was like, bro, I didn't know you played Tekken. Can we play a game? I played him. No yeah, problem. There's, there's no issue. I'm not going to charge you to fucking play me because yeah. I'm on YouTube. What the fuck? What is this? I think a lot of people who watch our channel that have reached out to us on our personal Instagram accounts or even our joint Midnight Rubbish account can vouch that we interact, we engage. Yeah. However, I will say there have been some weird messages. If you send me some bullshit... I might, I probably won't respond. And if I do, I'm probably going to troll you back. We've had some weird messages. Yeah. <laughs> I had one in particular. I just deleted straight away. I was like, no. Is it? What was it? You can edit it out. Uh, don't you remember that happened to me? And I was like, Michael, this is why I don't reply to people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I imagine you'd get more of those kinds of messages than I would. It's, to be honest, it's not been that bad. You will. I get weird messages anyway, yeah. regardless of uh, YouTube or not. Yeah. Oh my god, so either go back with my ex or get with Tilly for six months. Fuck. Okay, so in case you guys know or don't know, uh, this, I don't want to say his name out loud. This ex fucking traumatized me. He had a gambling addiction, drug addiction, addiction. Like, he actually fucked me up, okay? So either go to like trauma and emotional abuse or date Tilly for six months. Time to get back with my ex. Okay, next question. Do you know how messed up that is? So it was on times two speed because again, I pulled these from Moist Critical's YouTube channel and I thank him for putting them on times two because she her voice is insufferable as it is. But she, they were basically asking if you could choose between. Being with Dilly or being with your abusive ex who would beat you and emotionally abuse you, who would you go with? And she was like, I'd go with my abusive ex. You know what it is? Yeah, she's her personality seems disgusting, absolutely vile. And I think the only people that can be watching her and supporting her is definitely Sims. men that are simping on her that, that can't get women because... <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, her, there's nothing attractive about her personality at all whatsoever. Yeah, no, she's, she's quite vile. Guys, look, I understand you that, uh, you know, the pretty girl might be giving you some attention and she might be saying, oh, X, Y, and Z, X, Y, and, you know, whatever she's saying to you. But I don't think that you, like, I don't think you should take, I don't think you should look at somebody's looks and be like, I'm going to give them a certain level of respect based on that. I don't think looks should garner respect or garner, garner that kind of attention. I think when someone is Twitch streaming, they should treat their viewers with respect and in turn get respect from them because they've they've basically enabled her and made her think she can talk to them like that mm -hmm. and i don't think that should be a a thing i just don't understand why anyone would want to treat people like that anyway like how do these people sleep at night do you know what i mean you personally i would not hit so yeah there is a right or wrong answer there. well me personally <laughs> how about you rate me first 10 out of 10. oh you know i'm not ready to rate i'm just gonna drink that means I'm a six. It's okay. If it was a six, I would have said that out loud. Oh. Anyways. I just don't get how he's just sitting here and just letting her roast him for, for how long? Because he's he's infatuated with her. He's just said, and I want you to remember this for later on in the video. Mm. He's just said she's a 10 out of 10. Right? Yeah. Which, which she's not. Even if you take away her shitty personality, she's not a 10 out of 10. Like, get real. Yeah, like, you could put me in front of Levi Colwell. I don't know who that is. The guy I said my the one I have a crush on. Yeah. The footballer. Oh yeah. You can put me in front of Anthony Joshua. You can put me in front of any of these people. If they start talking about me like that, you think I'm gonna sit there and just laugh and giggle? Absolutely mm. fucking not. But I think there's a bit of a power dynamic as well because she has been she's looked at by all these guys that simp over her as this like queen or whatever. And so he's the guy, he's the simp that got to go there. All the other Sims can't get there, but he got there, so he's not gonna open his gums. I don't care if you're, I mean, if I don't care if I'm in your fucking house. If we ever get invited to go do a Twitch stream with somebody, and they start talking to me like that, fuck that shit. Yeah, I'm gonna say, Sabi, let's just leave before I wreck their house. Like I'm. But you'll pro you could probably just, you're so good with your words, you'll probably just be able to embarrass them on their own stream and then dip. Yeah, I like, I've been on someone's stream before a long, long time ago, before I even took YouTube seriously. And uh, it's when Twitch was called Justin TV. <coughs> and it wasn't a girl, it was a guy, but he was trying to roast me. I was like, okay, cool, we're going to do this in front of you. He didn't have a big following. There was only like maybe 20 people watching. Mm. I was like, cool, we'll do this. And I just cussed him out. I don't give a fuck who it is. I don't care if you've got 10,000 followers. But you know, you get those people on like Instagram, for example, and they won't speak to you. This has actually happened to me. They won't speak to you because they'll see your Instagram following is low. Right, yeah. they'll say, "Oh, you got less than a thousand. Yeah. They want to speak to you, mm -hmm. and then they discover, "Oh, you got a YouTube channel with, uh, with five six thousand subscribers." 
And then she found out that I had another YouTube channel with 2,000, another with 3,000. She, she put them all together and she was like, oh, he has more followers than me or more subscribers or whatever. And then she wants to talk to me. I was like, are you fucking kidding me right now? That's how you view people, by numbers. Yeah, I know people that will only like post on their story of people who are like in the public um, eye or are known. Mm. And then the, f- the friends that are not, famous or known of any kind will, will never get posted never get nothing because this person just wants to show that they know all these people no one gives a fuck yeah no what, one gives a fuck what happens if your account gets hacked and then you can't rebuild that following and you're no longer valuable as a person yeah like, what is wrong with you people your yeah, people literally put value on status and i think it's ridiculous yeah i i, th- I think there's certain things where i can put a, a value on a certain status but not on an Instagram following. And certainly, and I don't mean this in a sexist way, but certainly not on a girl that's pretty that has a lot of followers. A girl that's good looking that has a lot of followers simply just has guys follow her because she is good looking. She hasn't <laughs> done anything to get there. She has just existed, which is fine. You know, she Pretty can privilege. do that. Pretty privileged. She's just existed. So for, for what reason am I going to pay you respect because you've got 20,000 followers because you've got big tits and, and nice eyes? That was God given. Or maybe, maybe you got plastic surgery. I don't know. But whatever it is, you can't give people status based. I would say the same to a guy. It's just so prevalent with women. You see these, these have nothing girls on Instagram and they're rude to people simply because loads of people follow them. And don't get me wrong. I think the, the people that are following them just to have a quick wank are pathetic as well. But I think that they, they're in their inflated sense of worth. It's just, and then they talk to people like piece of shit. I'm just like, your following could disappear like that. Or moreover, you get some that are really good looking, but they don't take care of themselves at all. That, mm. that shit's going away. You know, father time is coming for you. People will start on following because you're not actually offering anything. How likely is it for him to pick up a girl tonight? I'm gonna answer this honestly. Honestly, you're not getting shit. <laughs> I think maybe a girl be down to dance with you, you know? That's a win. But there's no way, I don't think you're getting any girl's numbers. Or going home with, I'm gonna say it's a zero out of ten. Well, obviously, I wouldn't bring anyone back here, but I would let you. I'm a good friend, so if you wanted to bring a girl back here, you, you can. Wow. But I'm just being honest; I don't see it. Prove me wrong, though. You know, prove me wrong. Who's better looking, Dilly or your ex, my ex? Um, next question: Do you have, do you ever have any feelings for any of your mods, including him? Hell no. That's why they're my mods. You know what it is? That the people asking the questions are enticing it as well. Oh, 100 percent. This is like torture for them. But that guy in the back needs to grow a fucking backbone. Now, she's said all these disparaging things about him. She's humiliated him. He sat there with his, his tail between his legs, basically. Now, Moist Critical, Charlie, you know, whatever you whatever people call him, uh, he is a very big YouTuber of like 14 million subscribers and genuinely seems like a really nice guy, like really down to earth. And he watched the video and that's where I sort of got it from. And he interviewed him. And I want you to hear the things he's saying. Now, to me, this is a man that's been brainwashed. He doesn't know left from right anymore. So you, I've already heard this. I want you to tell me what you think, because uh, I think he's lost the plot. You, you already mentioned the kiss. Like, did you expect that kind of response when that donation goal was hit, where she'd start just, like, dry heaving? Like, she, you know, trying to throw up, like, as if he were so unbelievably revolting that she had to run away rinse out her mouth fucking say a prayer or something for forgiveness because of kissing you like there's no way that was a joke you knew was coming or like this was the content you envisioned um i wasn't shocked from it because we've discussed you know like our friendship is like brother sister and then if you put your mindset on like you know she only kisses someone very seldomly if at all right that she has to kiss someone that she says as like a little brother and i can understand that i wouldn't want to kiss my older sister that's cap first of all now i remember when i said that um he was going to sort of play this off like it was all part of an act it's not part of an act he's i mean he's in her house first of all so i don't think he's going to talk shit about her but he was very enthusiastic to kiss her he was puckered up. He wasn't drinking unless she was, right? Mm. So would you say he's talking shit there? Yeah. Okay, listen to what he says next. Do you see why that's kind of hard for me to believe? Like, you gave her a 10 out of 10 on the hotness scale. When it was asked, would you hit, you 
you were like, yeah, I definitely hit. She's like, I definitely wouldn't. Or are you two dating? No, I don't claim him. Things like that. Even though it's with the things you said, it's it feels like it's not brother sister on your end. It feels more like she keeps you there because that's how she wants it to feel. Do you, do you see where I'm coming from? Yeah, and I and that's just because I'm just super in tuned of like what the content we were looking to push out, right? It's just like because if I say no, nah, I wouldn't hit. Oh, she's a seven out of ten. Oh, the, the, that just means I'm just saying it just to say it because you know if I don't mean it or like you know don't think my friend is all that, then because I got to be honest with myself at some points. Like you, it's I think it's okay to make not direct compliments but like you know if it if we're in that situation just be honest you know and it's well you wouldn't rate your sibling 10 out of 10 right someone that you perceive to be your sibling that's yeah. fucking weird right now he was very quick to go in for a kiss and he was very quick to say he'd bang her he was very quick to look very awkward when she said that she would go back to her ex over him or that she would rather do another guy over him and she went to wash out her mouth with soap right if if you if you kissed your uh, your brother, right, and he ran off to her, he was like, oh, what the fuck? And then you just sat there. I'd be like, mm. it's, oh, it's one-sided, right? <laughs> so he's trying shit. He's trying to paint the, the narrative that this is the content they were pushing. This is, this is what they were going for. In my mind, he's just a simp and she's got him wrapped around her finger. Do you really think that if, if she walked in out right now while he's sitting there and he's like, I'm really sorry. That, let me take you to bed, Baba. He's gonna say no. I see you as my sister. Yeah. He's gonna be all up in there, man. Yeah. Elbow deep, ten toes down. Oh dear. Do you think she cares about you? Yeah, genuinely. Like when I went through my breakup, she uh, set me up on uh, to have a dating show. Like that's using you for content again, though. That's that's not the, looking out for you. That's still using you for content, and this is at your weakest moment. You're most vulnerable. You've just gone through a traumatic experience, and she's immediately turning you into content. You, I could have said, I could, I could have told her no. I could have said, let me. Yeah, wait. but you, it, 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 it's not your fault. I'm not putting any blame on your shoulders. Like it's an opportunity. Well, that, I don't agree with that. That is your fault, but she is using you for content. She yeah. saw a situation that he was going through, and she was like, "Oh, I've got an idea. Let's monetize it." That's what she did. Yeah, he's. I think he, he is deep down in love with her. He can't believe his luck that he's even friends with her. And I think he's got this film over his eyes that he needs to clean so he can see clearly because at the moment he's it's foggy. Yeah. It's, 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 it's love hearts everywhere. She can do no wrong in his eyes. Do you really think if someone cares about you, they'll monetize your pain? You, there's been situations where I have been going through something and you've been there for me and you've been going through something. We've sat and spoke for hours, mm. right? I would never say, oh, why don't we, let's monetize it, right? Let's actually air out what's going on between us. Let's go air out what's going on in our personal lives and monetize it. And you're going through something and I'm there laughing yeah. about it. I mean, if you truly cared about someone, you wouldn't. <laughs> it's pathetic. There's so many things you can monetize. You monetize your friend going through some shit and then this donut is sitting there going, nah. I, I did it myself. Like, yeah, you did do it yourself, but you're also a waste man and you are a simp. And so you just have to accept it. If you take accountability for your behavior, it'll be much, much easier to move past it. Much, much easier. You're low right now because of this breakup. And now you have this girl who's like, hey, I've got a bunch of girls I can put you with if you do it on my stream. It's immediately turning you into content. That makes me feel even worse about this relationship because after you've gone through something, she immediately uses you for content. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, but to be fair, I mean, like, if she's just using me, why am I staying at her place? Why don't I just get an Airbnb because or a, ho a hotel? It, or it, it adds to the content, having you there and keeping you around to constantly belittle and make it clear to her community, like, hey, this guy doesn't have a chance. Let's keep joking about it. It's all part of that same content cycle. Like, you are playing this role, which you have talked about, taking this burden, which you don't need to do. You're above that. And right. she is using this because it is part of the joke. Like she is just farming this whole stigma okay. of being a Twitch mod. He's not going to ever fuck me, but he can stay here and we're going to get content out of it by any means necessary. Here's an hour and 25 minutes of me shooting down everything he wants to do, everything he says, every advance, and make it clear I am disgusted by his presence. You can see when Charlie's talking to him, the gears are turning. He knows Charlie's making sense. 
everything Charlie said was right. Yeah. She's not gonna fuck you. And if she does, it'll probably be for OnlyFans content so she can moderate so she can monetize that as well. It'll probably be humiliation content. Right, so she's always going to use you for monetary she's gain. She's taking advantage of him because she knows that he will do anything. Yeah, and I think that this video is important for a lot of guys that see pretty girls on camera or in person and just put them on a pedestal for that purpose alone. And it's no, not worth it. Their looks will fade. What's important is their personality and how they treat you. Yeah, I think what she's doing to him is mental manipulation. If that oh, was yeah. a couple, you would not... You would be like this is mental abuse imagine it was the and other i way think around. she's very narcissistic as well imagine there was a guy doing this to mm. a girl people would be like yeah i mean there was already an uproar from this but the uproar would be astronomically high if it yeah. was a guy it's just it's belittling somebody you know this guy goes home and sits in his bed and wishes that he was deep inside you know that's all he's thinking about and then she and she knows that she knows that one thousand percent and she'll play on that and if she ever goes broke, this is the kind of guy that she will message you be like, I need to borrow a thousand pounds. I promise, you know, I'll pay you back. You just, you mean so much to me. Don't fool for this bullshit. Because we both agreed to have this kind of content idea put out there. I agreed to it. And there are times where I say I will be that role because, you know, I want to get more into that content does space. It, I want. Does it make you happy when she is saying these things to your face, when she is saying... You're not good looking. You're not getting laid. I will never hit. I don't claim this. All of those things. Does it make you happy? I mean, obviously, it's not going to make anybody happy if you hear that kind of stuff, right? But at the same time, you know, it's just like if you're real with yourself and you understand where you are or where I am, I understand where I am at right now in my life and like where I want things to go. Yeah, he's, he's brainwashed. He is literally basically from what i took from that i could be wrong but he's basically saying yeah it's not nice what she's saying but you know i i it's, it's true you know it's not nice that she's saying i'm ugly but i am ugly so i accept it like what yeah he she's got him literally wrapped around her finger now <coughs> i was going to end this video by saying i really do hope that this guy breaks away from this takes better care of himself it's not like he's an ugly guy like he's not bottom of the barrel ugly mm. just break away from her don't invest so much time into her i don't even know if they pay their discord moderators or if it's something they do for free but break away from her do your own thing and a nice girl will come along how many girls i've seen that are very very good looking they're with a guy that is physically not on the same level as them but because they're so nice to them and there's a nice reporter they just get on and they, they don't care about what other people are saying now i was going to end it by saying that but then i saw this picture of I was just like, bro, like, he is too far in the source. So they did another stream, I think, yesterday. And she made him sniff her underwear live on stream. If this isn't down bad, I don't know what I, is. Um, I don't know if maybe he's in on it and he's getting paid a lot of money. Because if he's not, then it's just, yeah, it's atrocious. Even if you're in on it, <coughs> even if you're getting paid, don't put yourself down like this on camera. It's not, it is not worth it. The humiliation that you're going to... I mean, maybe you don't care about being humiliated. Maybe you have no self-respect. Maybe I'm just talking to a brick wall, but I don't think that you should allow a woman, or even a man for that matter, just because you think they're good-looking, treat you like this. Just because they have a couple thousand subscribers, even if they have a million, I don't think you should let people treat you like this. The numbers don't really matter. It's great when people want to subscribe to you and they want to donate to you because it shows that they're, they're interested in your content. <coughs> and it's nice. I mean, people have donated to us before. It's always nice. We always say thank you. You don't have to do that. But we always appreciate it. But it doesn't make us better than these people. It doesn't make our lives more valuable. And it certainly doesn't give us the right to talk down to people just because they have subscribed to our channel and they want to reach out to us. It doesn't mean that we have to speak to everybody that wants to speak to us. We're not obligated to speak to everybody, but you should treat people with respect. Basic human respect. I don't know if I'm talking to a brick wall because this is, this is not the first time I've seen this sort of behavior from girls that are deemed very pretty towards guys. It's not the first time. It won't be the last time, but I hope that maybe someone watching this video can be, you know, maybe there's a girl in your life or someone that you're watching on Twitch that you deem as like super pretty and you've put on a pedestal because of that, even though she treats you that shit, just break away from her. Break away from her. You'll feel much, much better. Go to the gym, take up martial arts, learn an instrument or a language, do something else with your time.
Are you still doing your Japanese lessons? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Otoshi wa Mike desu. Dozo yoroshiku onegaishimasu.